Good morning everybody. I'm Jeff Whittick here at Supply Point and today I want to show you how to change a drawer board in a roto point. First let's take a look at some of the tools you'll need. It all starts with a couple of screws at the top where you're going to need this tamper proof Torx number 25, a TT25. It's the same bit that the back panel of the, of the uh, supply point frame uses. And then a couple of sockets, just a, a 7 millimeter and an 8 millimeter socket and a way to turn them. Either one of these nut driver handles or, or just a ratchet. And then behind most of these nuts and bolts are washers, so you'll need a long nose pliers to uh, remove the washer so it doesn't fall on the floor and get lost. Uh, th this is a hanger that hangs the panel. The panel's got a lot of weight to it and there's some uh, LED wiring that it can just uh, tear if you let it stay under its own weight. So I'll show you how this is used. And then lastly, a two millimeter nut driver to uh, remove the actual drawer board. That's it for the tools. Let's get started. I'm just going to open up the frame. We need to, uh, if it's a standalone, there will be the touch screen on the front of it that will have to be moved and then the main door needs to be open. The drawer boards are on the back side of a panel that runs down the inside of the main door so this panel here needs to be removed. I'm going to start with these two screws up at the top and this is where you need the tamper proof Torx number 25. Now you'll notice that I'm going to use an electric drill to disassemble some components here and that's fine but please 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 do not use an electric drill to reassemble uh, this stuff, hand tools only. And the reason is some of the parts are, are brass. They look like chrome or some other metal but it's because they're nickel plated brass. They're very brittle and an electric drill can, can snap them. It's the standoffs that hold this panel on and I'll show you those when we get to it. Being careful not to lose the washers. And I'm just going to set these aside. And while I'm up here, I'm going to open up these little clips that are holding this black and white wire. This black and white wire goes to the frame LED here. Are you getting a good look at the back of my head? Okay. Okay, now we're going to move to the bottom of the panel and remove a couple of bolts down there. Okay, now we're at the bottom of the panel. Just going to remove the two nuts under here with the 8 millimeter socket. to get the washers off. There's one of them and there's the other. And while I'm here I'm just going to slide this cover off the wiring and dislodge the wiring a little bit. Okay and that's it for the bottom. The next step now is going to be remove these these 13 nuts from here. And each of these has a washer behind it, so I want to get those washers off before I lose them. And all the way down the panel, same way. And here I am at the last two. And the washers. Okay, okay, that's done. Now I'm just going to get up and reposition a little. Okay, now I'm just going to get my hanger ready in one hand and rock the panel back and forth until it comes loose from the studs. Just rocking it back and forth and working it towards me off the studs. Then once the panel is loose, I'm going to free this black and white wire. 
put my hanger through the hole at the top and hang it on the front of the door. Like that. Now I'm ready to change the drawer board. Now when you use this hanger to hang the panel, this panel will hang edgewise, perpendicular to the door. That allows you to work on both sides of it. And most of the work we have to do is on the side you can't see, but I'll turn it so you can. Uh, but the screws that secure the solenoids are on this side. So if you had to replace the solenoid or mess with the spacers behind the solenoids, you could get to both sides of the panel at the same time. But the drawer boards are in here, so I'm going to reposition the camera and, and then we'll replace the drawer board. Okay, we're inside the panel here. This is the drawer board that I want to replace. It's for hatch number three here. I'm going to start by just unplugging the wires. I just pushed on the edge of the connector here. Here's the, the solenoid. Uh, connector's bad. Okay, and then and the frame LED. And then like all the drawer boards and all of our products, there's two screws that hold it on. So I'm just going to remove them. One, and the other. Okay. Now I'm just going to set the faulty drawer board aside and get a new drawer board. Okay, here's the new one, and one thing I want to show you about the drawer board, it has a notch cut in it, and this is for the Gen 4 Roto Point. Uh, the solenoid bracket is very beefy on this product, so beefy in fact that it interferes with the position of the drawer board. So that notch is there so that when the drawer board is positioned, it can, it can fit along with the... Uh, with the bracket there for the solenoid. I'm just going to run the screws in to put the new drawer board in. Just tighten them to exactly that many foot pounds there, then reattach the wires. If I forget where the wires attach, I just have to look at another <clears throat> pardon me. I just have to look at another board. There we go. And now we're ready to reassemble the frame. Now, before I put the panel on, one thing I want to do is check these standoffs for tightness. The nuts that hold the panel on are called nylock nuts, and they have a nylon insert in them, and they'll tend to back these studs off. I, I can see one down here that's backed off several turns. And that's very common. Okay, the drawer board is replaced. I'm ready to reassemble the frame. I want to pay particular attention to the black and white frame LED wires at the top. The biggest failure we've had with replacing drawer boards and working behind the panel is pinching that wire, so be very careful of that. First, I lift the weight of the panel and then remove the hook and just set the hook aside. Then work the black and the white wire behind the bracket. There we go. And as I do that, I just ease the panel into position and over the studs. All 
the way from top to bottom. Once the panel's in position, before I secure anything, I want to try this test. Pull on the black and white wire here and make sure you can see movement of them over here. That ensures that neither one of them is pinched in any of the, of any of the hardware here. Very important step. Now with the panel back in position, I want to put these two bolts in first along with their washers, but I won't tighten them down because there's a height adjustment that has to be made on the panel. Notice everything is slotted on the panel. The panel can slide up and down. I need to put it in the right position. the second one and I just put them in until they bottom out and then back it off a quarter turn now let me show you the height adjustment we're gonna look in from the edge over here okay just looking in the viewfinder this is gonna be tough to see but what we're looking at is at the end of this metal raster strip the strip with the slots in it is a black horseshoe shaped object and we want to position it's part of the drawer board we want to position the panel such that the height of that is right in the middle so the raster strip passes right through the middle of the slot there and then we'll tighten it down right there and now with the panel position where it's supposed to be, just going to tighten down these, these two nuts the rest of the way. I mean, I mean the bolts. And then uh, secure the wire. And then I'm going to put these, uh, this row of 13 nuts back on here along with their washers. down there. <laughs> that one didn't want to give up without a fight. Now I'm definitely not going to use the drill to put these on. Okay, and that just leaves the two at the very bottom. They're eight millimeter instead of seven millimeter. So I'm just gonna put the washer on and then the nut. Okay, now that just leaves this bundle of wires to deal with. And what I'm going to do with this is just try to tuck it up in here. And then get the cover on. Everybody, everybody in there, come on. Okay, and I'm going to start the cover over here towards the right. I start by just pushing it on from the front, make sure all the wires are in there, and then work it across to the left as I squeeze in on the little latches here. Allow me to just push it in there. And that's it. Okay, that's it. Drawer board replaced. Hopefully the rotor point will work now. Thanks for watching. This is Jeff Whittick at Supply Point Systems.